it's Mike down at the woodlot today and we're going to take a look at a Husqvarna T540i. This saw right here is one of their battery powered saws. Uh, this is a top handle model which I found to be super handy. Um, I started using it a few months ago um, for limbing. Uh, it's really a climbing saw. You can see it has something for the tether here. But I really use it to measure out lumber and to uh, limb stuff, cut up some small stuff. Really nice saw. You can see it's very well balanced. I happen to have the BLI 300 battery in it. That is the biggest non-backpack uh, battery that Husqvarna makes. This right here, the only thing you need to put in it is oil. It has a flip up, uh, flip up cap on it. Really nice little saw to do that. Has two modes on it. Has an eco mode, runs the chain a little slower, uh, saves the battery a little bit if you're really not uh, pumping into some big stuff. Power button right here. Click on it, powers up. You have your, your uh, saw brake right here. Uh, works really well. But this saw is very easy to use one-handed. So I'll show you in a second uh, how to go uh, use this little thing. Um, we're gonna measure up some wood, take some of the tops um, off of this tree, grab some of the small stuff up, um, and show you how this works. The one other thing that I do wanna show you, I'm gonna pull out my cell phone here. Um, this right here uh, does have the Husqvarna app, really nice. Uh, you connect to the app, um, you can see right here, you got a you know, Bluetooth connect to the saw, saws right there. I go into it, um, once you connect it tells you total runtime and it tells you whether uh, the uh, save E or the economy mode is on. Um, little other, you know, things on the app, you know, some, you know, shopping, uh, it's connected now, there it goes, um, and support and things like that. So uh, you can see, you know, because you don't have it on all the time, 20 minute runtime on this saw, pretty new Husqvarna uh, T540i XP. So let's uh, check it out in action. What I'm going to do next with this is uh, I'm just going to mark up some pieces here, get them ready to uh, buck up with the bigger saw. But again, I like to cut everything to a consistent length. Um, that way it stacks real nice. Um, I know what I got as far as cords and stuff because uh, you know I can calculate it up pretty easily. But I'm going to show you how I just go through and mark stuff up and get it ready to buck it up.
All right, let's get bucking. <laughs> 